everybody, I'm the Bigglesworth, and today I want to show you how to build an unstackable item sorter. So the first thing we have to do before we really get started with the build is define and understand what it means as an unstackable item and why we would want to sort that. So I have a build here that I've created for a Let's Play Along series that I do where I had a fish farm that was pulling a bunch of items out of the water and I ran into items like fishing rods, magic books, bows, water bottles, saddles, and leather boots that are unstackable. I'll show you what I mean. I have a bow, I have another bow. No matter what I do, I cannot put more than one bow in a slot. That's just the nature of the game. There's certain items that only one item will take up one spot, like swords and other things. So I wanted to create a way to separate these items even though they might not be stackable. So the way this system basically is going to work is it's going to give us one item at a time that's being stored and we're going to take the option of where we want to send it, either via a specific category or if we just want to destroy the item altogether. And I'm going to show you how it works. We're going to go up here to the input slot and we're going to put in one of each of those items and we're going to come over here. Now right now the machine is not turned on, so watch. If I hit a button, nothing happens. We have to turn on the machine, first of all, to know that everything's going to be fine. Now, if you had built this build with a roof or somewhere where the lighting was not as bright, you would be able to see that this light comes on. That's an indicator light that you would see shining in there telling you the machine's working. But we're going to hit a button to start the machine, and it's going to give us an item, and that is a fishing rod. And so we're just going to go through all six items, sorting out which one it is, and which, one, uh, which place we want it to go. Now, um, this is not an automatic sorting machine because the way that those work, there's uh, you have to be able to stack items. So there we go, that, that machine has run out of items. The dropper's completely empty. And we're gonna come down here and see, we have got two saddles, two bottles, two, uh, what do you call those, bone arrows? <laughs> two books and two fishing rods. So the first thing we have to do is set up an area where we're going to put the build. Now, if we were facing, I'm gonna call the control panel the front of the machine. So for facing the machine, it's gonna be 12 blocks deep, it's gonna be 11 blocks wide, and 10 blocks tall. That is how much room you need to occupy from this point to this point and all of the redstone inside. That does not account for the room or anything like that, but the control panel and the controls, as you can see, are one block behind this edge, so it contains all of that as well. Now, we're going to start out by placing our hoppers, and what we're doing here is this is our, uh, this is our 12 deep by 11 wide, and so here's how we're gonna count this. From this corner, right corner, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, and then from that six, we're gonna go counting the six, one, two, three, four, okay? So go ahead and count out those blocks to get yourself set to that point, and as you can see, this is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six blocks long. So that's gonna be our starting point where we set everything up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place hoppers pointing straight down, and these hoppers would end up going to a collection system, chests, or something like that, whatever you're wanting to place, how, or however you're wanting to send the items as they come out of the system. Now I'm going to hit shift and spacebar, so I'm squatting, and we're going to place packed ice on top of the hoppers, and then one more block behind it. It needs to be packed ice if at all possible. Ice, for sure. The reason why is because of the timing of the redstone, you need the items to move quickly along the surface. It'll do that with ice. You also wanna use packed ice because if you use regular ice and you get any kind of light source near the ice, it could have a potential to melt. Using packed ice, you're not gonna end up with anything melting and ruining your system. Now standing at what we're calling the front of the machine, we're gonna go onto the right hand side and let's go one, two, 
three like that, and then we can get rid of these. This is just going to be a dummy block for now, and let's extend that down the length of this. Now from here, we're going to place a sticky piston pointing at us, skip a block, and do it just like that, and then we can get rid of these blocks as well. Now let's do the other thing on the other side, but let's start with the second block. So we're going to go one, two, three, and get rid of that, and we can go extend a line like this, and now let's put, let me back up so you can see, starting at this point, we're going to put sticky pistons pointing this way just like that, and we can get rid of those just like that. Now off of the back of each of these sticky pistons, do this configuration. We're going to do three half slabs. We're going to put two repeaters pointing at the sticky piston on four ticks each, and then a dab of redstone. Now go ahead and repeat this on all the other sticky pistons. Okay, so starting on the right hand side, we're going to take and put a block here, come back one and we can delete that, and then let's run a line of blocks this way over the repeaters. We can delete every other block like that. Now on the front of those blocks, let's put torches like this, and then back here, let's put two half slabs, two half slabs, and then stair step up a half slab like that. We're gonna cover this with redstone dust like that. And there you go. Now repeat this pattern on that side. All right, now just to be clear, I called this a half slab for some reason, but that should be a full block. I just wanted to make sure that I had clarity on that matter. But let's go ahead, we're gonna place a temporary solid block here. Let's place ourselves a half slab here. And we'll put that back right there, and just like that. Now we're gonna bring this out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it should be lining up right there with that red dot right there. And we're gonna bring this, come here, you, all the way across until we get it right over this red dot right here. And let's bring it back. It should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that. Hello, Rain. Let's make you go away. All right, he always got to be something, isn't there? So from here, we're going to bring redstone dust all the way around. And at this spot right here, we're going to put a repeater pointing this way. Let's go ahead and bring redstone dust all the way across. Another repeater, make sure it's pointing that way. And then redstone dust all the way across right there. Now what we're going to do right here is look at this middle spot that's lined up with the uh, the packed ice. We'll Del whoop, we'll delete the redstone on the left and right hand side. Give yourself a full block here and here. You can get rid of those half slabs now. And then make sure you put a full block right here, just like that. And then run you some redstone dust on top of those full blocks, just like that. So starting again on the right hand side, let's put a half slab right here. Let's put a block up and delete that block and then place one more block on top right there. Now from right here, let's go two half slabs this way a block up, one more block, and then a half slab just like that. And then let's go ahead and cover that with redstone dust as well. All right, so this time we're gonna start on the left-hand side and let's work on this back circuit. We're gonna come up a block, let's delete that, up a block like that, delete that, and then let's bring a line of blocks back until we get level or even with this block right here. And then we're gonna turn and come one more just like that. So that's one, two, three, four, five half slabs, and then one to the side, just like that. We'll go ahead and cover this with redstone dust while we're over here, and then let's work on this, this back uh, line circuit thing. <laughs> so we're gonna come up a block and delete that. We'll come up a block and delete that, and then let's come back like this until we're once again in line with these turn just like that and cover this with redstone dust as well. So that's going to be one, two, three, four half slabs back from that solid block, just like that. All right, starting at this point, we're going to go one, two, three half slabs like that. Let's do two pieces of redstone dust and a redstone repeater pointed that way. Now we're going to squat and shift and let's place there we go, solid block there. <laughs> Let's put a redstone torch here and then a sticky piston right there, just like that. So starting back here on the front, I'm gonna use glass. You can use solid blocks if you want. I like glass because it lets me be able to see what's going on inside the machine if I ever need to. We're gonna place a block here, a temporary block here, and a solid block right here. Let's go ahead and put glass on each side of that and then make sure to delete that middle one. 
Now we're going to come around to here and let's extend this all the way out to here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, just like that. Now right here we're going to place a bucket of water. This is going to be what's going to push our items down the chute. Now, if you've done this correctly, everything should be fine. If you haven't, you're going to end up with a block of obsidian. So make sure you do this right. Make sure that it's that length exactly. We're going to bring out some glass right here, right there. We can delete that. It doesn't need to be there unless you want it to be. Let's drop this down one more like that. Place a block here and a block right there. So now what we've done is created a little pocketed chamber right here at the end. And we're going to place ourselves a lava bucket right there, just like that. Now what will happen is whenever you press the fire button, uh, any items that get dropped down in here, they will not be selected for one of these. They will end up right here in this lava, just like that. Now let's go ahead and cap this off and delete that. I like to cap this off. This just keeps accidental pigs and players and other things from falling into that chute. So let's uh, right here, one more solid block like that. We're going to leave this spot open right here. And that's how you make that part. So starting at this solid block, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five half slabs like that. And then a temporary solid block right here. Now this solid block counts as one. So let's go two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, just like that. And then let's bring up a column on this side and a column on this side. Now this is going to allow us to stair step up some half slabs. So we're going to stair step up here and then come all the way up. Notice I'm placing these at the top and not the bottom. So we're coming back to here. Let's stair step up here. Come just like that. And then we can delete, delete this temporary wall, just like that. Alrighty. Now while we're at it, let's go ahead and add our redstone dust to this surface. Go ahead and go all the way up here, just like that. There we go. All right, so from this block, we're going to go five forward. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's place a redstone repeater pointed that way. And we'll go ahead and bring our redstone dust over here like that. And then let's add two more half slabs, one, two, and then a solid block. And we'll cover that with redstone dust as well. So on the back right hand side, we're going to come to this block and let's put a temporary solid block right here. Come down one and delete that. Now from here, let's put a temporary solid block. And underneath, we're going to put two half slabs, delete that as well. Now on this side, let's put a solid block. Let's put a half slab right here against this block that has the torch on it. And let's go ahead and run a line of redstone dust, just like that. Now over here, we have this spot right behind the repeater. So from right here, let's come up some blocks. We're going to put a stair step right here and then a stair step right here, and then let's delete these temporary blocks. Let's bring up a block like this so we can put one more stair step like that and delete those. So you should have a stair step that looks like this. Then from this block, let's go one, two, three more half slabs. Let's put some redstone dust right here, and then let's put three repeaters pointing towards the front of the machine and make sure that all three of them are on four ticks. Now back here at the front of the machine, let's bring up the glass blocks right here, two more on each side, and one more just like that. That's going to keep our items inside the machine as they drop. All right, so from here on front of this sticky piston, let's go one, two, three, two by three like that, and then bring these up two just like that. And now on the front, put one more right there. Now I like to use gold blocks. You don't have to. These are just decorative blocks. You can build whatever you want. Make sure at this spot you put a solid block of glass. If you put a glass pane, it's going to rest halfway and it's possible items will get caught right on that ledge back there. So we're trying to keep those contained inside. Now from the top of this sticky piston, let's bring up two more blocks like that. And that is going to be our chamber that the items drop into. Now on top of this block, let's put a dropper pointing towards us. Let's shift and spacebar so we can place a hopper pointing into it. And then let us draw a shape like that with some solid blocks. And then we'll put a redstone lamp right there, just like that. And now from the back of the machine, right here on this solid block, we're going to go one, two, three temporary blocks and delete both of those. 
come down here and get a sticky piston to point straight down. Now we're going to go one, two blocks from the side and we can delete those and let's place a redstone torch right here, just like that. Now from underneath this solid block, let's put a half blah, a half slab, <laughs> a temporary half slab. We'll get rid of that and then let's draw this line all the way back to this point and right here to this redstone lamp. Now on top of here, let's just draw ourselves a, uh, a line of redstone dust right there pointing into that block and there's that part of the circuit. Now from the front of these gold blocks or whichever blocks you've chosen to use, we're going to take some more solid blocks and we're going to draw a pattern just like that. And then let's place a solid block right here. I'm going to go ahead and put some stairs here. You don't have to put stairs here. This is just part of what I used for my own decorative uh, build. We'll put a lever right here and then one more piece of redstone dust right here. Now this is going to let us turn on. See how it lifted that? and off the system. So if this is off and we press a button to send a signal through here, it's not going to activate the dropper and it's not going to activate the piston mechanism down here. Now from here, let's put buttons up both sides. Come here, you. And we will put item frames like this and then one in the middle. And then make sure you put your lava bucket right there in the middle. No matter what you put on these sides for sorting, no problem, it can be anything you want, but this middle one is going to activate the, uh, <laughs> the mechanism that lights all your stuff on fire and destroys it. So make absolutely sure that you set that one up like that. Now I'm just going to put a line of solid blocks down here. This block right here is important because it's going to have the button for the, uh, the lava bucket, just like that. Now this is the essential build right here. You can see over here what I've done as far as just doing something, uh, not directorive, but decorative. <laughs> I've just kind of drawn a wall around here, put in some uh, flooring and a little design on the wall. Basically something so that we don't see these little parts right here and we don't see these parts right here. So we've got a little room that we can come into and use the machine. And that is how to build this. So there's one more little thing that you need to make sure you add, and it's kind of important. Watch what happens when we push this button. Push that, it pulls the block back, and water spills out on the side. So what we need to do, check my recipes. I guess touching water gave me a recipe, okay. <laughs> what we're gonna do is the opposite side of the sticky pistons, we're gonna place a solid block just like this. It can be any solid block you want. What we're needing to do is block off water from spilling out whenever that, uh, that packed ice retracts. And the reason why that's important is, not only will the water cause a little bit of lag, it might wash out some redstone stuff you have below. Also, the items that are washing down could potentially get washed out of the machine instead of into the hopper. So make sure, make sure you add that part right there. And that is how to build my unstackable item sorter. Now I've used a version of this sorter in my Let's Play series where I invite you, the audience, to play Minecraft along with me. If you'd be interested in watching that, I'll have a link on screen and down in the description to that show. But if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more like it, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and keep on building.